Hello and a very warm welcome to the 21 days of mindfulness and well-being. And today is day number 18, which is all about ask yourself, what would love do? So how did you get on yesterday with the law of attraction? What did you notice? Did you reflect upon previous experiences? Did you notice that you could shift things throughout the day? How did that impact on you? I'd love to hear your stories. So day number 18 is all about ask yourself, what would love do? Have you ever found yourself in difficult situations and you're unsure of how to face certain types of fear in your life? Well, by simply asking yourself that question, you're asking your higher self, you're asking your soul to help you with this, you're asking your energy to help you. What would love do if someone started shouting at you because they were upset? Well, you would think about your circle of influence and you would say, I'm going to protect myself. What would love do? I'm going to ask for protection. I'm going to be aware that this person is angry and upset, so I'm going to listen with compassion without judgment or opinion. And I'm going to seek to understand. I'm going to also be aware that they're projecting on me and it has nothing to do with me. So that's why it's important that we protect ourselves. So so the question, what would love do, is feeding us all these answers and these little mindfulness uh, strategies and techniques that we've been learning. When you're trying to face your fear, what would love do? Love would say embrace it, overcome it, because love is far more powerful than fear. Love is so much more powerful and we need to attune ourselves to this power of love. If you wanted to start a new adventure but your fear was there, what would love do? Well, love would know that you would need to practice because love knows that it takes small steps to get to the final destination. Love would encourage you with your inner dialogue. Be your great friend, be your best friend. You can do this, you've got this. Love would say, surround yourselves with the people that love you. Love would say, take yourself away from the argument. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to come back with anything. Is this worth upsetting yourself over something that has nothing to do with you? If you're struggling with your well-being, ask yourself, what would love do? Well, love would want you to find ways on how to de-stress and look after and self-care. So love would suggest meditation. Love would suggest go out in nature. Love would suggest breathing technique. It's a powerful energy. When, When people say, oh, love doesn't put money on the table. Love does. It's love is the action. It's the energy that is making you find those monies to help your family. Remember, if you're ever unsure of how to deal with the situation that you're in, just quietly say to yourself and take a breath in, what would love do in this situation? Love would be kind, love would be compassionate. Love would also not allow yourself to be emotionally or physically abused. Love would say, you need to take yourself out of this environment and place yourself in an environment where people of love, where loving energy is and security and safety. Love has always got your back. Love is your greatest ally. What would love do? I know this one's quite short, but it's very simple. And by asking yourself, it will go down to your circle of influence. It will tell you about your breathing. It will tell you about taking yourself out of environments. It will teach you so much. Love would be the encouraging inner dialogue. Love would want you to follow your bliss and follow your dreams. Love would want to make you happy. What would love do? Read a book, go and listen to some music, take yourself away from that energy that is causing you harm and pain and suffering. So have a great day and have this script, have this as a script in your mind. Work with these techniques because Love only wants the best for you. 
I am so in love with love. I am a massive believer in unconditional love and I hope that I share that with people around me. So think about it, if you're in that situation, you're in control. So let's take a moment right now where we allow ourselves to breathe nice and deep breath in all the way down to the belly, allowing it to expand. And as we breathe out, allowing our body to release and let go of fear, stress and worry. Breathing in the love nice and deep, allowing our body to expand to our heart and our mind. And as we breathe out, we release and we let go of worry and stress. Breathing in this powerful love and life force energy all the way in the body, allowing it to go round. And as we release and as we let go of fear and tension and stress, allowing our body to relax. Nice deep breath in all the way down to the belly. And as we breathe out, just allowing that breath to leave our body. Breathing in now deeply into the heart, allowing our heart to expand with joy and happiness. And as we breathe out, allowing our heart to relax and let go of old pains. Breathing in now nice and deeply all the way down to the belly, the heart and the mind, allowing love to enter. And as we release and as we let go, we allow our body to be in perfect peace and harmony. Breathing in nice and deeply all the way down. And just hold it for a moment, knowing all that loving energy is working its way around your body with joy and happiness. And as we release and as we let go, allowing our body to relax allowing it to find peace, happiness, and love. And simply practice and practice and practice. Think about the words that you use to describe. Use your own words, but be creative and ask yourself, what would love do? Have a great day. My name's been Sally from My Mindset UK. And remember, Remember to like, share and subscribe and love yourself. What would love do? Love yourself. Take care. Have a wonderful, lovely and loving day.